Hi, this is Cat's Cradle. This is the current issue of Mother Earth News, the April-May issue, and it's loaded with great information. But I want to draw your attention to this article, Perennial Vegetables Grow More Food with Less Work. It's excellent, and you don't have to subscribe to the magazine to, to read the article. You can go online at MotherEarthNews.com. But what I want to draw your attention to is that it talks about how to do how to get more food with less work and what they're talking about are vegetables that you can plant that will come back year after year. I made a video this week showing you the uh, sunchokes, the Jerusalem artichokes I bought. It's one of the foods they mentioned. Asparagus I'm growing in my garden. This is ramps. This is good King Henry. It's like a salad green. Anyway, they talk about they talk about a variety of things: uh, lovage, sea kale, ground nut, French sorrel, uh, Chinese artichokes. Several different foods that you can plant, uh, and if you take care of the soil and mulch and compost around them, that they just come up year after year. Uh, I think that's good advice. I have shown you before in the garden some of the things that I'm growing, but I haven't given you a tour in about the last month or so, so I'm going to give you a brief tour. We're going to go outside and I'm going to show you some of the things that I'm growing that are coming back year after year. I'm finding my strawberries at this point to be perennial. Rhubarb uh, will come back in just probably another month or so. The berries, the apple trees, so let's just go take a tour and I'll show you what I'm talking about. All right, so here's a little bit of what I'm talking about. Here's some asparagus. We have it planted in several places over the yard. Look at these strawberries, will you, that just came right back. They just bounced right back. I'm trying to find that in my camera. There it is. Beautiful blossoms. Here's some. Look at that. How beautiful is that? And they were covered in snow this winter. We didn't protect them in the least. Just looking down the garden. Everybody always asks about my apple trees. There you go. This is all strawberry here. Hadn't been but a, about a month since I showed it to you last. But look at the strawberries. And here are, oh, there's the apple tree going through the fence. More strawberries here. I'm waiting for the rhubarb, which usually comes up right there. These are the raspberries. Look how much growth. And look at all the raspberries to transplant. I pay about $8 a plant for the original raspberries. And look at all those I get to transplant. There's more of them. Look at that beautiful cilantro. Great antioxidant if you like the if you like the taste. It's so good for you. Mix it heavily in your Mexican food and in your salsa. Here's another one little that sprung up. It receives itself. There's one against the fence post. More of the asparagus. Nice and strong and healthy. And then just a shot over there of the blackberries. None of it planted this year. It's just coming back. That's how you want to do it. More of that kind of thing and less of the back-breaking labor. All right. That's all for now. Cat's cradle.